So just got finished. Uh, just got done listening to Ed's most recent stream. Um, and bitch, I'm on one. Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> and plain and simple, you know, one of the last things he said in the stream was for like the audacity of women coming to check us in our space. Right, and we know why this is—the pathology, um, the, the 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 mindset, the uh, uh, the other uh, what's it called—the overall thought process of black women is that they own black men. They own black men. We are always little boys. We are always being taken care of. We need them for everything. Like black men, we need you. Like no, like like they act like as if we need them. Like we can't do anything for ourselves. When the numbers show that that's not the that's not the case. That doesn't happen. Like you know we don't need them we want them and at at this current point in time we can always buy them uh currently in this damn market um so we can always do these things and have this type of sexual access i mean shit if you got the money you could get the you know the gfe the girlfriend experience if you wanted all of this right but of course you know you want a little bit more you want the womb you want the you know the 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 the, the kids and you know you 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 want a, a better family structure so you can rebuild the black community and uh so she can rest in her femininity and um you know intergenerational wealth and buzzword 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 and black power you know all that shit but really and truly we shouldn't hear shit from these fucking women dude I shouldn't hear one fucking word, maybe a report every so often. There are very few black women that are actually going after these other fucking black women that are doing this bullshit. And when you start to hear these motherfuckers on these damn panels on uh, Oma Wale's fucking shit, on, um, you know, even We Need to Talk and stuff like that, people that I've mentioned before in like past videos, and then even your pro black sector and all these women, they always just fucking pontificate and just blah and just puke fucking quintessence and 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 then the the female the divine feminine and divine masculine and all this fucking spiritual shit right that just like in in terms of their reality they're not even fucking living in in terms of their decision making they're not doing any of these fucking things right there's very few women that are doing these things and sadly the women that are doing these things are they look fucking weather beaten and cracked out you know they're done you know i'm saying it's just like oh man you know (laughs) you've been on a stroll all your life and you know you just uh you know it's time for you to rest you know what i'm saying like put up your put up your heels man you know Roxanne you don't have to put on the red light you know what i mean like it's okay you know that type of shit um so it's like you know, we get all this bullshit from them and what we really should hear again i, I just recently watched uh thor love and thunder i actually really like the movie like I wouldn't say love. Actually, no, I really liked the movie. Like, I thought it was good. I thought it was funny and everything. And it was silly. Um, but love and, like, you could see the, uh, you know, Lady Thor, um, how she died off and she died in battle. We should be hearing about these women. These women should be fucking Valkyries for the male black, for the black male space, the black manosphere. They should be Valkyries um, always out to battle and to war and, and finding more kills. You know, like, they eat what they kill and they ne- they are never ever fucking hungry because there's way too much to fucking kill out here there's way too much for them to do instead of being up in black men's fucking faces about some damn white chick that's in the white fucking space that has all these fucking numbers from fucking white um what's it called uh what's it called white uh subscribers you know and then like getting on us as if we fucking just supported her and catapulted her into fucking greatness oh she paid her way she paid for fucking consulting and then the people that she consulted with either didn't give her anything or they don't even want to fucking claim her but somehow and then of course all these guys are not even a part of the fucking black manosphere they say it all the fucking time so they can have fucking tiege handley fucking uh commercials and shit about you know manscaping and getting your balls fucking scraped on a regular basis you know uh you know hey do you want razor bumps on your fucking dick yeah go ahead and get this fucking product and shave your shit every two fucking seconds shave your curly fucking cues so you can get ingrown hairs on your shit 
<laughs> and then, you know, when the bitch goes and fucking <laughs> to actually fuck with you and suck your dick, you know, after she like looks at him like, oh, you know, underwhelming, you know, and then she looks at him and it's like, oh, this thing's got herpes. Like, no, no, it's my Tish Hanley. It's my manscape. I apologize. It's not herpes. I swear. They're just ingrown hairs. Oh, razor bumps. Like, you know, like they want to fucking... They want to promote this shit in every two fucking seconds. You know, you got one guy always just talk, uh, T- Hafiz talking about um, Jordan Peterson. Like, you know, like I like fucking Jordan Peterson, but that dude, no offense, he's not really there to solve problems. He's there for you to talk about the problems and discover problems and one or two things to actually, you know, maybe solve your immediate problems so you can go on to solve bigger problems, right? And like he really um, dissects a lot of these things. A friend and I had a conversation and he's like, yo, he just talks all this shit and doesn't really solve anything. And I was like, bro, to be very honest, his job is not to solve anything. His job is to talk to other people, philosophers and people that, um, you know, that look at this academics that look at this and say, okay, these are our problems and we need, like, we may have, you may, um, these are our problems and these are the things that we need to do to form a team on a, a team of Avengers, you know, or, you know, guardians of the, of the multiverse, so to speak, you know, shout out to MCU's what if, um, guardians of the multiverse to come together and, you know, uh, be a, a, a team that will actually execute this, right? Like, a Jordan Peterson is a Nick Fury, right? But then it's just like, yo, you're going fucking crazy over this fucking guy. And it's just like, bro, th- like, listen, you should be going after, you should be going after the knowledge of multiple people, multiple sources, other people that can um, talk about these things and not just talk about what's actually happening and the issues and the problems that we face, but also ways that we can solve them. And it's like, it's just like, and it's not going to be solved by your uh, fucking man first course. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's it's going to be a little bit more involved than like even a fucking 60 something hour course. You know, it's it's there's a lot of work you're going to have to do. And there's a lot of work that you have to put into it. And this is what we expect the women to do for the fucking women. So all these women, you know, why aren't they going after, and Ed said this beautifully, why aren't they going after fucking, um, why aren't they going after K? You know? And I'm talking like, vigorously so like just fucking going after her and like yo bitch shut up like you're saying dumb shit and you're gonna be out here alone looking weather beaten and cracked the fuck out and if you go to fucking Dee Dee's channel um she actually had a video where this woman was talking about in her 50s and how she's looking for different things in a man she doesn't look for just only chemistry anymore and it's like now she's at looking for um you know, availability, and she's also looking for, uh, you know, man, what else, there was something else, man, it was availability, and then chemistry was the last thing, but, you know, she's looking for different things from men, it's like more things, and it's like, yo, listen, I'm sorry, but you really should just only be looking for a warm body at this point, because the way your fucking hair is looking, ma'am, oh, Jesus Christ, like, that shit stood up on its own, like, that shit was crazy, it wasn't even a fro, it looked like fucking, um, it looked like uh, the the wife of the I forgot not the wife uh, Frankenstein's bride man like you know that fucking it looked like Marge's shit and like I forgot the the Halloween character but it's like it looks like Marge Marge's hair where it sticks up but then it's black and then it has like a white streak through it or some shit I don't know I don't think it's Adam's family um anyways but like bro like you look at this lady and it's just like ma'am it's over for you and what a lot of women don't understand and again i have to deal with this even personally um even with my own mother is that yo you get to a certain age yo there's ageism exists and then your <laughs> ageism exists you won't have this quote-unquote job for a long period of time and if you don't have your shit together and affairs in order and then you know your kids ain't shit or something like that thankfully that's not the case with my mom but you know um, your kids ain't shit and they can't fucking support you, then you're really going to be out here fucking alone. Like you're really going to be out here like just lost, you know, and not be in a good place. So shit, y'all can talk all this independent woman shit y'all want. Y'all better be financially fucking or financially, um, uh, gamed up, you know, all this other shit. You know, if you paying ten, uh, April Mason $10,000, I hope your CPA and your invest your uh, investment advisors getting at least three to four times that as much, especially to put your shit in order, because it's not going to be fucking fun out here when you, um you know, when you're going to need something, and I won't go into that, but 
You know, I won't go into that with the personal stuff. But really and truly, these motherfuckers really think that we need them to come into our space and talk to us about all this other shit, right? And it's just like, yo, why don't you be fucking Valkyries, go into fucking battle and fight Hella? Like, come on, go ahead and fucking fight her. Go and fight uh, Cynthia G. Fucking make it to the point where she can't even say a fucking word or she can't even fart fucking wrong. And then, you know, put her in her place in on, on a on a regular fucking basis to the point where she just fucking just like, hey, listen, man, I can't fucking do this shit no more. I can't talk about these dudes no more. These chicks is going after me. They're going on my ass. And so on. Like, put that bitch on the offensive. That bitch is resting in her fucking divine, um, divine evil fucking feminine. Like, she is resting in dark female energy. She is way too fucking comfortable. She is growing way too fucking fast. And the sad shit is, just like BGS said, they're just trying to fucking mommy us. And the thing is, a lot of niggas want to be fucking mommy. And now, this is not some get on all the fucking dude shit. But we have to look at it and say, hey, listen, why do we even listen to this shit? Why are we bringing this up? Why is this, like, you know, the the latest form of entertainment for motherfuckers nowadays? Like, what's the point of all this shit? Why can't we just figure it out and say, hey, listen, that bitch don't mean shit to me. Like, I'm sorry. I mean, the most I want from her is pussy and, you know, (laughs) she too far for that. (laughs) I ain't driving to wherever the fuck she's at to come and get it. (laughs) There's too much shit close to me. You know, so it's like we need to be really thinking about it in this way. Like, hey, listen, we can take it or leave it. And most of the time, 10 out of 10, we picking them fucking sticks. Big butt, pencil skirt, bent over the fucking bed, ready to fucking get plowed. And then there's a nice box of triple Maduro fucking cigars. And 10 out of 10, we're picking them fucking sticks. 10 out of 10, we're picking um, our peace. We're picking the fact that we want to actually be in a, uh, what's it called? In a, in a position and in an environment that is conducive to us and our thoughts and our um, our wishes. You know what I'm saying? We, we're doing everything that we quote unquote want to do. Not have to do. We are doing female, we are doing male-centric masculinity and fucking saying no to female-centric masculinity. We don't want none of that bullshit. So it's just like, you know, we really have to ask ourselves, man, why are they here? And why do they think they can actually be here? You know what I mean? Like, what have they done? Like, are all these women Crimson Cure? You know what I mean? Are all these women Pink Book Lessons? Are all these women Dee Dee? You know, and I'm not saying, hey, go out and support these women and all this stuff. No, I'm just saying, like, yo, like, what's the work that these women have put in for our cause and for what we want to do and for what our outlook is in in terms of the world. Sorry, I got put on chapstick. In terms of our worldview and what we expect to actually happen and how um, we want our world to look like and our community to look like and our everyday um, environment to look like. Like, you know, like they can come in and say all this shit, you know, oh, you know, st- staff, steal their ass back or uh, fucking uh, SYCBM, you know what I mean? Like uh, save your community, black man and all this other bullshit. It's like, yo, all right, cool. Like, you know, go ahead and do your own thing. They're like, you know, stop fucking par- um, being a parasite and grifting off of other fucking people and their fucking terms and trying to come up with these cute ass fucking acronyms. So just fucking just to keep these uh, keep the attention of these women that don't even fucking want to. um get themselves together or put themselves in a better position in life you know how crazy it is that these women spend all this money on hair but then you start to talk about their weight and they won't even spend any money on a fucking trainer and be consistent with it i talk about it all the time my trainer cost me 204 dollars a month i am 300 something fucking pounds i know i need to fucking lose weight even if it's to even if it's to say hey listen do something as shallow as attract a fucking woman i know what i fucking need to do what are, what are you doing? What are they doing? Again, my trainer costs $204 a month. My gym membership costs two, uh, $20 a month. And then you have this maintenance every like quarter or every, I don't know, fucking whatever, right? Of like a $20 maintenance or some shit. I mean, these are things I'm like, I just pulled up to the gym right now. I got my workout session. I'm doing a, another one. I'm doing this one on Wednesday because uh, my trainer won't be here on Saturday. Shit. In fact, I got to re up on my training sessions tonight because I think I should run out tomorrow. Tomorrow will be like my last training session that I have, and I just got to re up and, you know, pay another 200 something dollars. 
But all this money that they want to spend on their hair, their makeup, and all these other things to quote unquote attract a man that, that oh, I'm not really doing it for you, I'm doing it for me, blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, look at me, you know, that fucking bullshit. Yo, we shouldn't hear anything from these women. They should be fucking Valkyrie, like Valkyries, and, you know, they want to get in Valhalla and they die in the fucking, and, and they die in the fucking heat of battle so that their, so, so that their fucking essence can turn into gold dust and raise into the fucking sky and then take place amongst the other gods and the other warriors that have died in fucking battle to make things happen. We should only hear of their fucking deaths and their loss in debate so that we can actually refine them and make them sharper and do more for and do more so that they can actually put themselves in a better position so that they can actually win the next argument, the next fucking battle. Sire, I, I cannot I cannot go on any longer. It is okay, my son. Come take off your armor, take a rest. It is okay, but you shall be prepared for the next fucking battle. You will not rest here long. You must die in battle. That is how, that is, that is the way of things. That is what we expect. So on and so forth. Just like your foremother. <laughs> but sire, shut your ass up, bitch. <laughs> Get your ass back in there and fight Cynthia G and her cohorts. When they say code up, we need, we need fucking, we, oh, we need fucking MI6 level, CIA level fucking agents that will, um, you know, get into their inner sanctum and then get into these different groups and then feed information so that we can be on the right path instead of this shit going crazy over a fucking white bitch and showing their own fucking inferiority complex of how, how they think they still look good, but somehow some white fucking bitch or some white bitch can just somehow miraculously come out of fucking nowhere average as ever she says she's average she acts average she doesn't act out of the out of like um you know she doesn't act like she's more than or anything else like that which makes her more attractive to all types of fucking men and she's talking shit to make sure um that men have a better uh what's it called outcome in the dating market or in life in general or especially in this fucking society and the fucking men are just going fucking crazy. And these black chicks that have all this fucking makeup, all this fucking weave, all this fucking other shit that's on them and don't want to fucking go to the gym. And they have all like they got all this ass, they thick as fuck, so on and so forth. And then somehow, some way, this basic white bitch that has no fucking and I'm an adder in this shit. So I, I, I listen, I'm using the colorful language of bitch and everything else like that. I got I got, you know, let, listen, let me put my respect. You know, listen, I don't want to talk shit about Big Pearl. I don't want to talk about shit about Big Pearl, because Big Pearl come through, fuck your ass up. You know what I mean? And, like, start sending her fucking goons and shit at you, right? Call, I got to call her fucking Big Pearl, because somehow, some way, these black women that think they're so fucking great, you know, they still need a white, they they still need not, like, you know, uh, uh they talk we talk about white zaddy and shit, like, yo, they need that fucking specter. They need that person that's always there. That, um, you know, they need that, uh, that, they need that antagonist, somebody that they can fucking go against and say stupid shit like, oh, well, you know, um, you know, this person and just outright lie and just say, hey, listen, this person paid to get in here. And how did you let them in here? And it's just like, what well, we're just looking. I'm like, we're looking at them. We're inside with these black women talking all this shit. And we're looking outside and Big Pearl's just chilling in our own fucking spot. And we're like. Bitch, how did you get in? Because that bitch is still outside. She's still on the periphery. Only one or two people have let her in, quote unquote. You know what I mean? And had fucking discussions with her. And in fact, the guy that supposedly we talked, to, that you talked about let her in, she kind of came to the window to see one of them, talked to TLA, and talked, yeah, and, see, and seen the other one at the window as well. Didn't even fucking break the fucking perimeter. And then one guy, he was so goofy, he fucking went outside and went to go talk to her ass. It's just like, what the fuck? Are you fucking serious? Y'all want to put this shit on us? Ah, oh, no, that bitch's name is Big Pearl. I don't give a fuck. Her name is Big Fucking Pearl. These women should be out here fighting in the honor of fucking black men in the black manosphere. But instead, they have to take down the beast known as Big Pearl. Big Pearl, the w the wicked white witch of the fucking north, bitch. Or, or uh, 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 of the kingdom. You know, the united fucking kingdom. Like, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, listen, man. At this point, I need to go to fucking Pearl. I need to find out, like, you know, that the idea about that slide and shit. I got a fucking lake that's three acres. If I put a big-ass fucking slide, that shit'll be dope as fuck. 
Yo, like, honestly, I saw her fucking slide that her fucking dad put in. Oh, my God, that shit was amazing. Yo, Big Pearl, listen, Big Pearl, Big Pearl firing off on all fucking cylinders, man. I don't even know what the fuck we doing, to be quite fucking honest, man. Yo, what are we doing? Like, yo, practice? Yo, y'all niggas want to talk about practice? Y'all niggas want to talk about white chicks? White chicks? This is what y'all want to do? At the end of 2022, when we about to go into a fucking recession, especially, or no, we're about to really show the recession after these fucking midterm elections when all that shit falls out, all the shit, the, 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 you know, the fucking, yo, I wouldn't doubt diesel's gonna go up to $6 a fucking gallon or some wild fucking shit like that. You know, all these other fucking services that are going up. Everything, yo, everything's going up. You gotta pay more for every fucking thing. And y'all motherfuckers won't talk about Big Pearl. Yo, Big Pearl, not the little, like the shit that these fucking 304s be saying all the time. Big Pearl, not the motherfucking little. Yeah, I'm on fucking Big Pearl's motherfucking dick, I guess. No homo, pause. Stop the fucking video. Because it, it, I don't understand it, man. I talked about it before. Like, we always need these white cosigners in some way, shape, or form. And a cosigner is not somebody that's always with you. Sometimes it's just somebody you need to validate your fucking argument about, oh, these white bitches and you guys are lusting after these white bitches and shit like that. Then you got these fucking, uh, these, these <laughs> the worst part is, and I'll, I'll end it with this. The worst part is we got black women that don't, don't even want to fucking do their job and they're, they're easily to fucking distract it. You know, baby mom's going out and going off on fucking Big Pearl and shit like that. And when she questions you on the Lapeef Networks channel uh, or panel and says, you deal with dudes that don't have a car, you're getting fucking offended. Like she was just being fucking, you know, totally disgusting. And even if she was to fucking do it to be triggering, which I, I hope it was she was being triggering because that's fucking great. Because it just shows you like, all right, bitch, you, you out here fucking is with no car. Come on now. Chill, chill. Like, you shouldn't be talking. And then the other one, B. Taylor, I think like B. Taylor TV or something like that. She has two kids from two different baby daddies, and she's trying to go in on this white chicks that got no, that got no fucking kids. You 30-something plus, you a grown-ass fucking woman. You already pissed out two fucking children, and you going fucking crazy. No, you need to shut the fuck up. You need to be Valkyries. If anything, we should only hear about your death and fucking battle. And if anything, we should game you up, reprogram your ass, get your ass right back out there. Like the fucking Borg, just take parts from other fucking Borgs and shit like that. And then, you know, you never see a Borg body on the floor because it always gets recycled and shit. Like, yo, this is what we should be fucking doing. This is what should be expected. But no, 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 you got, we got to fucking talk about Big Fucking Pearl and shit. Like, she's like the main antagonist. Like she's the new fucking boss. You know, the goalpost always gets moved. There's always another fucking level. There's always somebody else that we have to fucking worry about. Some 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 unknown fucking threat that's going to come out of nowhere. Well, how about this for a known known fucking threat? 2023 is going to rape a lot of fucking people financially. I hope y'all got looped.